Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 7, Lobos TCG. Lobos here. Bloody is not joining me today, so we're just going to be flying solo, opening, finally, these Adventures in the Forgotten Realms Collector Boosters. We might open both of them if they're quick enough. What is a Collector Booster? Well, it has less packs than standard draft booster or set booster packs, uh, boxes that is, and each booster contains 10 traditional foils, five rare slash mythics, and two extended art cards. And then they have some goodies in there for us to find as well. So without any delay, let's check it out. So we should be seeing a lot more uh, rare cards than that draft booster that we opened up last episode. And, ooh, these are fancy. Let's see, how many are there? Ten? Is it ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve total? Okay, well, this should be exciting. So let me put this off to the side for now. And let's get cracking. Um, again, this is the D&D-based set, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. And uh, some of the cards that I'm looking for are all those module cards. They they look like the old... Oh, wait, hold on. Is this, okay, this is the token on the back. It is foil, though. Treasure, hello. Treasure with... Uh, zombie on the back so i think we're going to be getting those each pack um i'm looking for the module cards which are full art they're kind of solid color and they look like DD books we got a couple in the last uh video as well as any tiamat i know bloody was interested in lolf uh, but let's see what we got here so we should get about uh was eight commons or so uh foil ranger's hawk clever conjurer Seen some familiar cards already. Swarming Goblins, Herald of Hadar, all of these foil. Dragon's Disciple, Power of Persuasion. There's a Plains, and then what? Are we off to our rares? So five rare or mythic rares. Let's see here. Triumphant Adventurer. Yep, and it's foil. Ooh, Chaos Dragon. So that's extended art. You can see there's no borders on the sides here like there usually are in the cards. I love dragons, and I like this pull as well. I'm not sure it's a super rare one, but I'm all for extended art dragon cards. Wizard's Spellbook, also extended art there, artifact. Owl Bear, we got that kind of special art that we saw uh, quite a bit in the other packs. Hulking Bugbear as well. Volo Guide to Monsters, uh, that's a rare one there. Boulette, uh, not so rare. And then I think I see... Oh, Hive of the Eye Tyrant, and this one is, it doesn't look full hollow uh, foil, but it's got these effects on the lasers. It's really cool. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, I don't think I had Hive of the Eye Tyrant uh, before, but now we've got the foil version, so that's great. Let's keep cracking. really want to see that Tiamat, though. There's uh, two versions of Tiamat, I believe, and uh, I I'll take either of them, to be honest. Here's a dungeon foil with skeleton token. Circle of the Moon Druid. Potion of Healing. Dueling Rapier. Scion of Stygia. Battlecry Goblin. Ray of Enfeeblement. Uncommons there. So, okay, so the first eight are co commons and uncommons. Then a foil land. Zoop. Cave of the Frost Dragon. Rare. Foil, of course. Radiant Solar. Solar. Uh, extended art there. Great art on these cards. Oh, the deck of many things. Yes, that was in uh, one of the campaigns I was uh, playing with. Oh, they got this residue on my fingers. Uh, one it's from the pack. Um, but the deck of many things causes all sorts of crazy stuff to happen. And that's a good card there. Black Dragon, extended art as well. Very nice. Zorn. Zorn is, well, I don't know how else to describe that then. Just an amalgamation of of oddities. Manticore and Drizzed Dwarden, the uh, special art here. It's also foil. Um, just the background there. But that's very cool. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah, see, these are exciting packs. Everything is pretty much worth uh, worth keeping around. Um, I don't know, though. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know if I'm such a fan of of you know having to pay the premium really to get these these cards that you're looking for they do have three tiers though um 
you know, considering they have the collector's box, which this is. Then they have the set booster box, which has a bit rarer cards and less packs. And then the traditional draft booster box. Um, ha really starting the channel on Pokemon, like we were getting some some pretty rare stuff pretty commonly, <laughs> to be fair. I mean, maybe that means it's not as rare, but, uh, you know, the, the stuff was, was worth a decent, uh, a pretty penny, you know. Flame Skull, foil there. Wolfgar of Icewind Dale, nice. Hand of Vecna, yes. I uh, also had that uh, in, a, in a campaign. Manticore, again, I think. Rhyme Shield Frost Giant. Oh, the Green Dragon. Oh, hey, Lair of the Hydra. I did not have this module card yet. Is it foily? No, nope, just looks like the normal one. But that's cool. I didn't have it, so I'll take that. Green Dragon. Foil Extended Art. Beautiful. And Old Gnawbone. Okay, this is the... I think it's the top valued card. Oops, sorry. I'm... Yeah, it is. It is, and it's foil, and the foil goes for 45 bucks right now. So I, uh, uh, according to the list of, you know, how valuable the cards are, uh, that's that's the one right there. So 45 bucks. These booster, these uh, collector's booster boxes, though, uh, run around 200 depending on when and where you buy them. So uh, not not necessarily made our money back yet, although with everything combined, I'm sure. I'm sure we do, if we decided to, to go and sell these. But I, I like to collect, and so I'm probably going to keep most of these unless unless we pull a bunch of duplicates. But that was awesome. Old Gnawbone already, and it's the foil version too. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Treasure token uh, of Zariel, Archduke of Avernus. Emblem. I don't even know what emblem is. I'm a scrub. I'll have to see if that's uh, if that's a special card. Delver's Torch. Owl Bear. Manticore, the regular version now. Zombie Ogre, all foils, of course. Wizard, uh, wizard class, uncommon. Plate armor. So we hit this land, and then we jump into the rares and mythic rares. Werewolf pack leader, foil. Yeah, uh, I've seen that one on the list as well. Cloth unrivaled ancient. Ooh, mythic rare, extended art, beautiful card. Let's see that Tiamat, though. I wanted to see that Tiamat. Triumphant Adventurer. Extended art there. Bullet. Cridal of Baldur's Gate. Nadar Selfless Paladin. And Owlbear. Oh, there we go. Orcus Prince of Undeath. Extended art foil. Legendary Demon. Very cool. Very cool. Man, this is... Uh, oh, okay, this is... Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, I thought we were already almost done, but this is... We're almost halfway done. This is uh, quick, short, but sweet, you know? You just pull in awesome cards, and, you know, maybe that's maybe that's what you're looking for sometimes, and this collector box is for you. Double-sided token? Angel and devil. Ooh, that's cool. And it's foil. Very nice. All right. Whoop. Charmed Sleep, Sleep Boy, Eyes of the Beholder. I like that. These foil cards are very cool, though. Uh, I will say, compared to um, Pokemon's, you know, equivalent to foils, their hollow cards are cool looking, but there's just something special about these foils that really, really gives them a, a particular glint to them. Shesra, Death's Whisper, Loathsome Troll, Swamp. Uh, where am I putting my lands? Oh, I guess I'm putting it with it. Uh, Wish. Nice. Wish foil version. Rod of Absorption. Absorption. The Black Staff of Waterdeep. Getting plenty of rods here. Giggity. Celestial Unicorn. Whoop. Oh, Direwolf Prowler. That's a new one. Treasure Vault. Did not have Treasure Vault. So add that to the collection. Uh, man, how many are we missing? I think I'm only missing one or two uh, at this point. Null Hunter and Dragon Turtle. Rare with a background, a foil background. And the, the uh, you know, the sepia, I keep calling it sepia tone uh, filter on it, but that's not necessarily what it is. All right, this is going to be our halfway pack after we finish this. 
looking now for Lolf, looking for uh, maybe those final dungeon modules that I'm missing, as well as, come on, don't mess these cards up, they're all special here. All right, just pull it from the side. Uh, also looking for the Tiamat. I want to see that Tiamat. Spider token creature. Uh, another, and with an emblem on this side, Eliwick Tumblestrum. Adorable. Bard. Farida's Fireball. Planar Ally. Pixie Guide. Plus two Mace. Can't go wrong with a plus two Mace. Rally Maneuver. Displacer Beast. Creepy. Mountain. Then we got Zorn, our first rare. Oh my gosh. Netherese Puzzle Ward. Hmm. Interesting. Very cool. Loyal Warhound. Extended art on uh, both of these. Arborea Pegasus. Pixie Guide. Dungeon Descent. Also one that I did not have. So this is uh, this is going well so far. A hollow uh, foil version, Arborea Pegasus, and Triumphant Adventurer, Extended Art, and Foil. Very cool. I just, I just want to see that Tiamat. Although, let me, I got to check because I don't remember ex the exact count on how many module cards there are, but we are very close. Very close, if not finished with them, to be honest. All right, let's see here. Zoop. Treasure token. It's on the back. Icing Death Frost Tongue. Token Legendary Artifact. Plus two, plus zero. Whenever equipped creature attacks, tap target creature defending player controls. Wow. Equip two. All right. Two colorless. Let's see. Vampire Spawn. Goblin Javelinier. Secret Door. Hill Giant Herd Gorger. Green Dragon. More for the Dragon Collection. Dungeon Crawler. There's our land. We got a plains. Looks nice. Ranger Class Foil. Druid of Purification. Nice. There's another Wish. Not Foil this time. Brunor Battle Hammer. Oh. Ooh. Extended Art White Dragon. Nice. Very cool. Varus Silvery Moon Ranger. Baleful Beholder. This one's got the foil back. That's very nice. And Forsworn Paladin Extended Art. I think we had that one before, actually. Oh, where did my pack of cards... There we go. So this is Adventures in the Forgotten Realms yet again, which is a bit of an older set, but I am a big D&D &D fan and really love some of the cards in this in this set. So I wanted to grab those. We've got Crimson Vow. I got some of the pre-release boxes, but I also um, ordered some of the collector's boxes just like this. So, oh, boo. <laughs> so we'll be able to check out those pre-release boxes and then open the, the fancy collector's boxes. Um, I'll be picking those up at the end of the week. Compel Duel, Boots of Speed, because Crimson Vow comes out at the end of the week. At least, you know, it, it, the scheduled launch. Red Dragon, add that to the pile. Ray of Frost, Forest, Meteor Swarm, that's our first rare there. Dragonborn Champion. Very cool. Extended art. Circle of Dreams Druid with the extended art. Ginny Windseer. Lonesome Troll. Icing Death Frost Tyrant. Now that's my kind of card. Legendary Dragon. Extended art there. Looks great. And, oh, Calane Reclusive Painter. This one is foil. And Den of the Bugbear. That's like I think that's the the rarest one, or one of the 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 higher priced ones. And it's got the foil background, and we didn't have it already. So man, we are just we're finishing the collection right here. We don't even need to open that next box unless we don't get Tiamat or Lolf. We'll go for Lolf too. Let's see here. 
Spider token with a fairy dragon on the back. Spiked pit trap. Celestial unicorn. Neverwinter dryad. Oh, whoops. Unexpected windfall. If you like how these collector's boxes are going and you want us to open one for you on the channel, that is an option. We are uh, taking applications or requests. Um, check the link in the description of the video. You will contact us, and if you are selected, then we will message you and get into further details on that. Starting our rares, Teleportation Circle. Grim Hireling, Extended Art, Tiefling Rogue. Skeletal Swarming, that's just the worst. Unless you have a Cleric, then it's fine. Neverwinter Dryad, Baleful Beholder, Hive of the Eye Tyrant, the non-foil one this time around. And Ginny Windseer, Windseer, this one is foil back. And Acerarak, the Arch Lich. Very nice. I feel like I've had a Acerarak in one of my campaigns as well. Um, I, I dabble almost entirely as a player. I did DM a little bit in, in Pathfinder, but it just didn't didn't really feel like my calling. I've I've never been too into storytelling myself. Um, I dig stories, but oh, wow, well, that was almost a big spoil. But uh, you know, I think you need to have a certain passion for that storytelling in order to really really be a good DM. I love mechanics, so I I am all about that. But that means that my campaigns would lean much more uh, combat, and not everybody is there for you know the combat. Dragon's Fire foil looks good. Lightfoot Rogue. Purple Worm. There's our forest. Yuanti Malison. Winged Boots. Those are cool. Has flying and ward. Equip one. Nice. Teleportation Circle. Also extended art. Noel Hunter. Whoops, I pulled a lot there. Red Dragon extended art. Beautiful. I love the borderless. Minion of the Mighty. I don't even think I've seen this card yet. It's a rare. Menace. Pack taxes when a minion of the Mighty attacks. If you attack with a creature of total power of six or greater as combat, you may put a dragon creature card from your hand onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. Nice. Slap the Tiamat down? <laughs> Direwolf Prowler. This one's got foil back. And another teleportation circle. Uh, extended art, this time foil background. GG. Uh, how many packs do we got left? <gasps> Two packs here to pull Tiamat. Or Lolf. <laughs> I just keep mentioning Lolf because that's that's what Bloody was most excited for. And I want to try and track, you know, the cards that we're in particular trying to chase. We don't base our choices off, you know, what is going to be the most effective. Oh, Mordenkainen. Token or, well, Emblem. As the second side to this treasure token. As I was saying, we don't really chase, you know, for what the most effective cards in, in the actual game are going to be. We're just, we've got our, um, you know, what we like, which I like dragons and uh, swords and knights and stuff. And Bloody likes um, the sexy things. I mean, I do too, so I, I, I can't blame her. <laughs> she wants Loth. And then from the next one, you know, the uh, we got a bunch of vampires in Crimson Vow, so that's going to be full of stuff that we're going to both like. Here's a Sarak the Arch Lich again. Grave Endeavor. Very cool. Forsworn Paladin, extended art. Mimic. Underdark Basilisk. Oswald, Fiddle Lender. Loathsome Troll. And nice. Dungeon Descent. I think that is now we, yeah. Oh, this one's a foil back, though. And the other one is not. Is not. So it's technically not a duplicate. Awesome. Got different versions of the modules that I'm looking to collect, so that's cool. One more booster for this box. Let's pop it. Come on, give me that Tiamat. Tiamat me mommy. It's me, I'm, I'm mommy. Lost Mine of Fandelver, Skeleton Token, 
You come to a river. I love those D&D type cards. Underdark Basilisk. You hear something on watch. More of those. Inspiring Bard. You see a pair of goblins. Man, this one's full of them. Death Priest of Miracle. Land here is a swamp. Drizzed Dwarden. Foil. Slap that there. Mantle of the Ancients. Extended Art. What? Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. Rare. Mm -hmm. Clattering Skeletons. Gretchen Titch Willow. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Cave of the Frost Dragon. I did not have that. That may be the last one that we needed. I'll have to double check after this video, but it just might be. That might be the whole thing. Neverwinter Dryad with foil back. And Loyal Warhound Extended Art. So that is our first box collector's booster. Uh, very nice. I mean, the old Gnawbone foil right there is the, the pull. That is the one. That's the one that uh, is at the top of the, you know, price guide. So I think that alone... Uh, makes that entire box a win. And we also got a whole bunch of the module cards I was looking for. Now it's time to get both the foil and the regular versions of those modules. And both Tiamats. How about it? And Lolf. Sure. We could do that, right? We got one more of these collector box, uh, collector booster boxes. Let's see what we can do here. All right, if this has the Tiamat in this particular peck, I'm going to need you to comment 69 in the comments, just because. We got the Devil Angel token, reversible. That's pretty cool again. Okay, Null Hunter. Earth Cult Elemental. Yuang Ti Feng Blade. Shocking Grasp. Farida Devil's Chosen. Prosperous Innkeeper. Mountain. Den of the Bugbear. So this is the regular version, not the module type. Revivify. Revivify, if you are so inclined to. Instrument of the Bards. Extended Art. Oh, that looks so cute. Look at this little mountain lion here and the cat in the background. Oh, good job, Bard. You're doing great, babe. Purple Worm, Zalto, Fire Giant Duke, Everwinter Dryad with the foil back, and Circle of Dreams Druid foil. Okay. Sorry. It did not have the Tiamat. So you may not comment 69 in the comments, or you will be banned from YouTube. That's not true. Tomb of Annihilation with the Atropal. Legendary creature, not so legendary. Contact Other Plane. Grim Bounty. Spoils of the Hunt. You find the villain's lair. You happen on a glade. Warlock class. Here's our land. It's a swamp. First rare is a rare. It is Dancing Sword. Very nice. Dan's Macabre. Extended art there. Very nice as well. Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Ooh. I like that art a lot. Magic magic cards just... Their, their art is so cool. Neverwinter Dryad. Zoom. Ginny Windseer. Ooh. Adult Gold Dragon. Full art here. Borderless. I like that. Temple of the Dragon Queen with the foil. Very sweet. Oh, an Inferno of the Star Mounts foil as well. We are getting all the dragons. Well, I would hope so. This is the Dungeons and Dragons set after all. Very nice. That's a great one. Let me grab a sleeve for that boy. Zoom. Nice. Very nice. I like the, the kind of looser fit soft sleeves because I, I then I, I don't feel paranoid about the fact that I'm going to you know ruin it when I'm actually slapping it in the sleeve these just go whoop, right in don't have to apply any pressure or anything 
Well, not much anyways. Sweet. Putting these in my top loaders. Uh, there's some in there that I definitely need to, again, and the modules as well, but I might put the modules in a binder, so we'll see how we go from there. Time to grab another pack. Again, I think it's 12 in a collector booster. If, uh... Wait, and where are my goodies? I thought there were some goodies that are supposed to be in there that aren't, like, physical good. Maybe I, maybe I misread. Hold on. No? No? Oh. Uh... 19 silver pieces, two candles, and a bag of, of caltrops. Okay, I think they're just, they're joking there. I, they're not going to put caltrops in here, but I thought maybe they would be like toy caltrops or something. <laughs> I don't know. Boo! Sorry to scare you. Mordenkainen's polymorph. Spare dagger. Clattering skeletons. Arborea pegasus. Blink dog. Hulking bugbear. Planes. Nadar, Selfless Paladin. I think we got this one, actually, from that booster box. The uh, the foil version as well. Wild Magic Sorcerer. Extended Art. Hobgoblin Bandit Lord again. Oops. Ginny Winsear. I feel like we've gotten a million of those, as well as Noel Hunter. Ooh, 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 ooh. Minx, Beloved Ranger. That is a mythic rare in that style. I'm going to slap that in the rarer pile. Owl Bear with the foil background. And Orb of the Dragon Kind, full foil. I think I hear a cat. My cat just threw up. I'll be right back. Okay. And we're back. Leo's okay. Let's see what kind of boosters we got going on now. Maybe that was a, uh, a puke for luck. If so, thank you, cat. Let's see if it... Uh, if it brings that Tiamat to our hands. Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Goblin. Oh, oh. I like the selective foil stuff that they do. Like, see, it's just like the spike on the shield, the weapons, anything that's kind of metal, and then the little nameplates as well. Half-Elf Monk. It's a little more thought than just going, eh, make it all hol you know, foil, holographic kind of style. Silver Raven. I mean, it's not really even holographic. It's just foil looking. Guild Thief. Hello. Island is our land. We got a mythic right here. Oh, it's Minsk, beloved ranger. We got his foil version as well as his uh, sepia tone version, as I call it. Song of Inspiration. Very nice. Extended art. Guardian of Faith. That's a cool looking card. Don't think I've gotten Guardian of Faith yet. We've got Manticore. Displacer Beast. Oh, let's get these. Oh! Well, there it is. <laughs> well, that's Bloody's Lolf Spider Queen. It is not the foil version, but it is her. In the um, f flesh? In the carapace? I... Uh, is something like that. Cradle of Baldur's Gate, foil back. Maybe this is the foil version. No, wait. Ooh, it's Imrith. Desert Doom, the foil version. We had the uh, the non-foil version in the booster box, the draft booster box that we had. And now we have the foil version as well. So that is awesome. I'm going to have to preserve this loth and uh, go give it to Bloody as a as a present very cool very cool so that's uh that's just about all the things that we wanted assuming i got all the modules except for tiamat we've got stuff rarer just come on bring pull the rarity back for a minute and give us that tiamat i mean tiamat's still pretty rare but uh as far as the pricing goes that's what i use to judge my rarity so we'll see we'll see okay you hear something on watch. I'll do something about it. Spiked pit trap. <laughs> Thieves tools. Underdark basilisk. Monk of the open hand. Hamapashar ruin seeker. Plains is our land. Rare black staff of water deep yet again. Phantom steed. 
Nice. Can't go wrong with the ghost horse. It's pretty cool. Extended art there. Treasure chest with the extended art. Red dragon. Borderless. I like it. I like it. A oh, blue dragon. Borderless. Okay. Okay. Delina. Wild mage. And evolving wilds. Oh, we actually have the foil for this. Although, here's another one. Cave of the Frost Dragon, the foil version as well. Look at that. Um, that has done well for our collection of these module cards. Uh, we had the Evolving Wilds foil, did not have the Cave of the Frost Dragon foil, so that's great. Good stuff. Let's see how many packs do we have left here. Um, well, still, still a good amount. Four, seven left. Easy. Not even halfway through yet. Not even halfway through to the Tiamat set. That's what I'm calling this, is the Tiamat booster box. Let's see. Wolf. Mordenkainen. You have no maximum hand size. That's pretty That's pretty baller, actually. Priest of Ancient Lore. Zoop. Clever Conjurer. Grim Bounty. Celestial Unicorn. So colorful. Grim Wanderer again. No, Grim Bounty. <laughs> Targnar, Demon Fang Knoll. Good for you. Rising up in the ranks of the of the Demon Fang Knolls. Forest. Layer of the Hydra Foil. We got that one before. Min Wily Illusionist. Ooh. That's awesome. A, a spectral bear she rides. I mean, I would if I could. Oh, there's the brain from Devour Intellect. <gasps> Is it her? Is she the one that devours the intellect? Although she's an illusionist, so it's all just an illusion. Asmodeus the Archfiend. Devil God. Very cool. Direwolf Prowler. Clattering Skeletons. Gelatinous Cube. Nice. Classic. Yink. Mimic. And white, white foil background. Man. White, but make it brown because the card's brown. Never mind, that's a dumb joke. <clears throat> Whoa, dog illusion. Oh, that would be the worst to just find out one day that your dog is an illusion. Boo as well. See, that would be, that's working con, in, uh, uh they, they work together to make a joke, because, boo. Never mind. Deadly dispute. Anyways, you're ambushed on the road. Uh, plundering barbarian. We'll just move on from that train wreck. Baleful beholder, divine smite. One of my favorites as far as the art goes. Lurking roper. Ooh. Yeah, don't want to get roped into a fight with that dude. Island. Icing Death Frost Tyrant Foil. Very cool. Share the Spoils. Extended Art. Dancing Sword. Uh, just uh, not foil. Just extended art there. Undark, under Dark Basilisk. Hamapashar Ruin Seeker. The Sepia version. Ooh, is this... Ah, come on. Pull these. God, it's it's a ta it's like static to the one behind it. Is it the bugbear? It is Din of the bugbear. Whoop. Which is wait, did we get the hollow version before? We did. So now we've got the hollow and the non-hollow version. Oh man, we really are gonna complete that that set of them. Under dark basilisk and mind flare creepy. Okay. <sighs> Five more sets to go. Oh, gee. Uh, you're okay. I hope. Dungeon of the Mad Mage. And Goblin. Elter Guard Ranger. Leather Armor. Jaded Soul Sword. Soul Knife Spy. You find some prisoners. Blue Dragon. Nice. Island. Let's get to our rares. First is Treasure Chest. Foil. Valiant Endeavor. Very cool. Love Paladins. 
Uh, he, he looks like a paladin, at least. And the white horse and everything? I don't know. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's just a knight. But it looks like some paladin armor there. Werewolf pack leader with the extended art. Very nice. Goblin javelinier. Evolving wilds number three. Inferno of the star mounts. Extended art, not foil. So we've got the foil version. Uh, we got that earlier. Purple worm, but make it brown. Sepia. And Skeletal Swarming, my least favorite, unless you have a cleric. How many is that? Three? Four? Four more? Four more. Four more. Didn't really look closely at the pack uh, art, but it's pretty cool. Silver, I think the other boosters were black, if I'm not mistaken. But the, the chrome finish... Man, it lets you know that, you know, you, you spend a pretty penny to get these cards. To get this Tiamat. <laughs> Treasure and Mordenkainen. Kick in the door. Don't, don't do it, though. Arcane Investigator. Great Axe. Scaled Herbalist. Eccentric Apprentice. Hunter's Mark. Forest. Beautiful. First is a rare adult gold dragon. Nice. Hellish Rebuke. Sphere of Annihilation. Don't want to get that, let that sphere into the wrong hands. We got Bullet. Clattering Skeletons. Dragon Turtle. Pixie Guide with our foil back. And uh, Yuan T. Mallison with the extended art and foil. Very cool. Three more. Three more uh, to pull Tiamat. But don't worry, he's in one of them. I promise. I promise. They, they're in one of them? Tiamat's got a lot of heads. Bull's Strength. Mm -hmm. Fate's Reversal. Hoarding Ogre. Devoted Paladin. Barrowin of Clan Undur. Ingenious Smith. Planes for our land. Let's get to the rares. Mind Flare. Okay. Indomitable Might. That's handy. Teleportation Circle number three, I think. Rhyme Shield Frost Giant. Trellisara Moon Dancer. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Okay. That's not a mythic. Oh! Hall of the Storm Giants. Wait, did I? Oh, that might be the last, the actual last one that I did not have. I think it is. I think it is. Now, uh, just to get the, the foil version of it back here. And I'm just kidding. It's Hand of Vecna, but that's awesome. Well, I think that uh, is the collection of the module cards. So, you know, the collector boxes seem to be worth it if you just want to only randomly pull the cards that you want. Uh and not buy them individually. It's it's more fun this way. Plus you can make content with it, right? Right? Let's see. Ranger's Longbow. Rhyme Shield Frost Giant. Shambling Ghast. Fourfold Champion. Magic Missile into the darkness. White Dragon. Forest. Zoom. Rogue Class. Fiend Lash. That's a pretty sweet looking uh, sword. I guess it's a sword, a whip, a sword, whip, whip sword. <laughs> Ooh, a mythic. The Book of Exalted Deeds. Oh, they've got one that goes along with that. That's uh, It's an evil book. Um, I think I have it right here, don't I? Oh, uh, no, I moved it. I moved it. I thought maybe it went. But yeah, oh, <laughs> it's literally on top of this other pile. The Book of Vile Darkness. There you go. Oh, oh, oh almost spoiled the rest of this pack. Book of Vile Darkness, Book of Exalted Deeds. Just counteract each other or something. Maybe, oh, is that her? But like after she's been, I don't know. That's kind of cool. The, the pose is exactly the same too. Or it's just an alternate, you know, dimension or alternate uh, timeline where instead of being all fancy and just, she's corrupted and fallen. Pixie Guide, Temple of the Dragon Queen. Hey, there's a Mordenkainen. It is not foil, but it is Mordenkainen who is uh, 
one, uh, one of the rarer planeswalkers in this deck. Very cool. Lurking Roper with the foil back, and Hobgoblin Bandit Lord, number three. But this one's foil background, so that's cool. Oh, is this the last pack? Well, all right. It's time for Tiamat. Let's go. Let's go. It's the only thing that uh, I've really specified I wanted besides the dungeon modules, and that's kind of a you know, general want. This is a specific card that I just I want. Well, there's two of them. <laughs> So, stop making excuses. You come to a river, eyes of the beholder, unexpected windfall. I like to try and make sentences uh, sentences out of my uh, magic card names with this deck, anyways. Neverwinter Dryad encounters a rust monster, and Gretchen Titchwillow jumps in the swamp in order to uh, save her friend Varus Silvery Moon Ranger, who has been. Uh, uh, if, uh, in, in enfeebled by Prosper. Wait, oh, that's a creature. <laughs> I was thinking it was just the book. Um, who's been yeah put under a spell, uh, Prosper Tome Bounds spell. Um, and that that he will look like you on Team Allison after the spell concludes. Um, so in order to get away, he rides an Arborea Pegasus, uh, which unfortunately turns out to be a mimic. And the Westgate Regent Vampire <clears throat> is responsible for placing that mimic there. And where's Tiamat? The Goblin Javelinier throws a spear at Tiamat. Oh, it's Ogre Jelly. Okay, Ogre Jelly with a foil background. Well, we did not get my Tiamat. However, we did get Bloody's Wolf Spider Queen. And we got, we, I mean, this, we got a lot of awesome cards in here. And I haven't even you know, sleeved up a lot of them. We got the uh, Foil Emrith Desert Doom, Minsk Beloved Ranger here. I've got adult, 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 adult Gold Dragon Borderless in front of the Star Mounts. The Extended Art also Borderless. No, I guess that's Bordered. Um, and, of course, our boy, Old Gnawbone, in the first box. So I would say overall the first box... I enjoyed the most and we got a lot of these module cards I think all of them now I don't want to just like put them together and then <laughs> you know I could pull them one at a time but uh you know they you know what they look like and we got quite a few of them uh foil and non-foils Den of the Bugbear didn't have Evolving Wilds we got Den of the Bugbear foil version as well really just filled in the gaps for the module cards that I was missing and so that's super exciting. I will probably put those into a binder and get the rest of these guys sorted out. But thank you for joining me for our first opening of a Magic the Gathering collector's booster box. That was definitely a lot more exciting than, you know, just the, the draft boosters. But that's the whole point of it, right? But you do have to pay that premium, so... Eh, eh. I kind of, I kind of, I almost feel better if there's just one and it's kind of, you could get really lucky or, I mean, you still could get really lucky on a draft booster box, but I feel like it's rarer than, say, if you buy a Pokemon box, you know, getting that stuff. But who knows? We'll see. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. We've got a lot of stuff to open. I just got in a bunch of these Final Fantasy uh, trading card game boxes. I got two of these and a, a one of these and who knows? Who knows where where our trading card um, expeditions will take us. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget if you are interested in having us open a booster box for you. It is limited to booster boxes right now. Um, check the description. Fill out the Google form. And we may get back to you into opening one of those for you and sending it along. Thank you guys. Have a good one. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.